Okay, so thanks so much, Patrick. I'm going to show you guys how to turn this beautiful liver uh, into some delicious pate. First of all, we're going to chop an onion. And you can do it quite rough because we are going to pulverize it. And the last time I made pate was from a goat. And the time before that was from a roadkill possum. And both those occasions, the liver was very big, about this big. So here we're working with a very small amount. So you can use half an onion. I like it quite oniony. Um, so I'm going to put a lot in. Onion, uh, as some of you might know, is a, a prebiotic, um, as is um, garlic. So um, a prebiotic is what the uh, probiotics in our stomach like to eat, in our gut. So here's some rough chopped garlic and onion. And uh, we do need to use a little bit of fat to fry it up. So I'm going to bit, use a bit of homemade ghee. But you can use some tallow or some olive oil if that's what you've got. I'm just going to stick it on the pan. And we've got the fire on over here because we're going to bake bread later. So so here we've got the onion and garlic browning in a hot pan with a bit of fat in there. So it's just starting to brown. I'm not going to cook it, I'm not going to caramel caramelise at all. I'm just going to wait till most of it is translucent, which is now. Now I'm going to take it off the heat. And I'm going to pop my herbs here. So I've got some oregano from the garden and some lemon thyme. So I like to take the stems off and keep the stems and make a tea out of them. But whatever herbs you've got, parsley is also really good. Uh, sage is good. I could have got some sage, but I'm just going to keep it simple. So I've got some oregano here and the thyme. And I'm just going to roughly chop them. Again, we're going to pulverise. Roughly chop. that in the pan. With the liver as the guest of honour. Comes in last. I'm just going to slice that up into small pieces. Now I'm going to put it back onto the flame. And just really cook that meat through. So as this is just a very small liver, it's not going to take long. Okay. Just let that brown off for a bit. Then we'll come back. I'm not wanting to cook the onions so much just to cook the liver through. That's lovely. Okay, so now I'm going to take it off the heat and then just set it aside to cool for a bit. We've got our browned onion, garlic, herbs and uh, liver and that's cooled a little bit. So I've got our food processor over here that we inherited from my grandparents. That you can make it with a mortar and pestle. And also I'm going to add some uh, butter in. This is some uh, homemade butter. So I'm going to put, I don't know, I don't measurements, I don't know, like uh, one and a half tablespoons or per liver, per little rabbit liver. I'm going to put some salt and pepper in. Pinch, pinch, okay. Just going to have a look inside. 
side, put it all into the centre. So my grandmother used to make, she was Polish and she used to make a delicious uh, chicken liver. And we were growing up, regretfully I never asked her for the recipe. So because it was still a little bit warm when I put it in the food processor, it has melted the butter a little bit. Um, so I'm going to stick it in the fridge and then it'll harden and then tomorrow we'll have it on our uh, bread for lunch. <laughs> 